Welcome everyone to our after work party here live from the Exacode T2 Linux headquarter. As you know, we take our PowerPC and especially P3, keeping the P3s alive and all the PowerPC and all the risk machines and all the new risk machines like uh, Risk 5 alive and maintained and well. Finally, I installed. Fi finally, not only did I get a over a ten thousand dollar venue Sony DECR one K development reference tool and dev kit, I also finally installed T two in it. Of course, as usual, I rebased the kernel patches. Um, quite a bit changed. Um, I dropped some notes, some, some notes on our Discord. Um, so of course I spent like this is basically I spent another day rediffing stuff uh, that's basically P3 keeping the P3 patches alive and cleaned. For example, one thing I mean not only I had to as usual touch quite some patches, but they also changed the directory entry D entry switch this list to children of age list so um, to the P3 SPU file system drivers didn't compile anymore because renaming um, D child and D sub tiers to that is now instead of a list had a H list node so that uh, as usual right how to open source people I would call this the usual unnecessary changes the only constant is change and regressions and that is how people spend their after work day rebasing, rediffing, SGI, Octane, P3 and stuff, right? Of course, uh, that is uh, quite a thing, right? So that is wreckable. So next I can stack them all. Apple Xserve, um, SGI Origin 200, P3, share, like and subscribe. I will soon have a nice rack behind me for our supercomputer data center, SGI, Sony P3, Cray research, you name it. Um, so performance, um, it's basically the first time like I have that pretty new right, like all the amazing stuff, well, my hard work and your subscription and patronage make possible. Um, it's basically the first day like after I hacked other OS++ on it with a custom firmware with friends of the P3 scene. Um, shout out there, amazing team because there are not so many people who run Linux on a development tool. <coughs> um, so it's the first time I use it a little bit more. Um, performance, so of course, as usual with um, performance 1 minute 34, also uh, um, for build, rebuilding Lua, right, my usual performance test. And as usual, we made T2 Linux already greater on vintage hardware because all of our build are smartest, highest performance optimized for your vintage and retro pleasure playing along at home. And we realized when we default to fastest optimi smartest optimization and how long did this build? Two minutes. I tweaked this build time estimate. So that is live building from a freaking, uh, did I even, I probably forgot to run Tmux for some reason. Um, Why is the host name, ah, the default host name is, okay. Ah, we don't even have NeoFetch. Um, let's emerge NeoFetch. The last years we made T2 so much more easy to use, right? Previously it was more an expert system for developing embedded systems, but since also P3 fans want to run a proper Linux on their P3s and um, other newcomers to the T2, to the amazing T2 Linux experience, for example, I mean, this dev tool has 500, like half a gig freaking memory, like nearly as much as Apple shipped until a decade ago by default. And your experience, of course, at home is a little bit more limited with, um, also I have here two secure shells, right? So that would be that here for that superior P3 dev experience. And we defaulted to LTO and that is of course a little bit memory 
exhaustive. And so we made this already better, right? Um, disabling tempfs. And I wonder also if we maybe should clear LTO also. Do we enable that by default? Like maybe we should disable because the problem is now we have newcomers who finally have an amazing Linux to run on their P3 or similar such stuff, vintage Power Macintosh. And maybe we want to not optimize as much. Maybe the next logical step would actually be to clear the LTO link time optimization and default um, optimization. I'm um, just to improve uh, build times because you've seen here, so that Lua built in one minute 34 and the initial Lua build in, where do we have that? I control C that somewhere. I built it twice wherever should have, should have been there. It's I believe it was three minutes. Oh, there it is. Three minute eight. Do you see that? Yeah, barely, right? So that is the difference between LTO, like optimizing the heck out of it. So of course, you don't need this, right? Like all your build, build system, all your, all your base system is highly optimized, cross-compiling this here on our um, data center. And like on, on Ryzen, um, on Zen 4. And so that's the difference, right? It's nearly three times faster and I guess we should do that. So yeah, Sony P3. It's basically the last time, the last time I wanted to install it, I first had to fix a kernel bug, right? Like 2024 and each quarter I'm busy fixing, like can just show you what I've done also other, other builds obviously running here. As that's how much I did before the live stream, which was an hour and it's like, yeah, it's basically mostly that. And so that is just rebasing, right? Sure, some stuff is just patch offsets. Um, the upstream people moved like this. Some, I mean, most of the stuff is tribal, but someone needs to sit there. It's like, obviously I'm the last person doing that here, right? Um, so this patches didn't apply because stuff was moved around, like the usual cleanups, right? So only constants change and regressions. Um, so that is just super tribal stuff. But then there's also like this list stuff. I even had to literally Google um, also compiler um, suggestions, right? Like the struct D entry doesn't have a member D children. Do you mean D child? It's like, yeah, maybe, but yeah, do obviously that's wrong, right? So it's, as I just pointed out, um, D entry. So this uh, Alviro here of file system, Linux file system fame. And the crazy stuff is, I'm really not a fan of like, 30 years later, I, un I understand cleanups and optimizations and stuff, but like, do you, how often do you want to change that again, right? Like, like obviously tree wide, so that is um, commit, so that is even more because uh, commit here of get web view stuff of, I believe I need a question mark there. Um, maybe not, maybe I mistyped this, but anyway, so the point is, changing just for the sake of changing and then everyone constantly needs to should have worked like ah because no way we need commits yeah i edited the commit away we need commit here um so i mean obviously they had to change some stuff right i mean it's not the biggest but it's like yeah it's amazing right linux, linux kernel developer experience renaming stuff every month for for reasons um, so the last time, the first time I wanted to install it, um, I first had to debug like literally a whole week on the storage stuff, right? Upstream has broken storage stuff because, yeah. Um, but that's fixed now and all the other stuff works. Um, so that's basically, I rebased that. I uh, also, I had to touch my own cursor code here, for example, which ironically doesn't work on the dev kit because it's only supported from firmware 340-ish and I'm running 315 or so. Um, I'm running the only custom firmware I could otherwise plus plus on it so it's like yeah. Anyway um, that's basically we can commit that. Um, that's basically tested now. Rebased and rediff Arch, PC 64 package, 
Linux P3 patches for six eight four tested boot tested um, rebased redift arch for PC package Linux P3 patches there we go um, people always ask um, well, how, to, how to install stuff right this is how to install stuff right we have a manual of course we have a knowledge base so that is here knowledge base basically fresh install 101 um, yes we need to work next <laughs> now that t2 linux works amazingly on sgio2 ps3 and latest and greatest intel and amd and even there it works the best um, next we need to work on the website obviously <laughs> yeah is it not amazing um, the only thing more amazing would be full 3d graphic for which i'm still awaiting your patreon subscription your buy me coffee or youtube subscription um, but we're getting there it is the most clean up optimized it ever was this is booting this elf version 2 abi basically higher performance elf version 2 abi all right we can test test one more thing so we're still uh, building his stuff right so that that is running it's basically stability test it's probably up already 43 freaking minutes so my patch rebasing and my patchwork is not too bad um all right so of course we have as usual to do's right uh, theoretically we could um next so as you see 25 years later um 25 years of freaking amazing t2 linux later we can really fine-tune this stuff right like now the stuff works like we basically daily work on this stuff so obviously finally this stuff works pretty well um no surprise there uh earlier today on twitch we did some go improvements because obviously all systems go um and so now we can increasingly do the more amazing things right like eventually i mean i'm serious like you need to share like subscribe because i'm not doing rsx graphic for fun you've seen i can do it i'm it's like we, we did this on other low level stuff and um, i maintain all the other stuff i constantly unbreak like every quarter at least four times a year unbreak p3 so if you want to see a higher performance accelerated graphic and hey we, we even have hardware cursor right the, the one and only and first ever hardware cursor for even flicker free accelerated mouse cursor performance but 3d graphic i'm serious don't forget to share like and subscribe and then we can do some nice linux gaming um to do is i basically here we have kx right? i think i have this kx already um check so this is basically um fix so i now saw why this fails um and that's the stuff right and one month i noticed now nah, shit doesn't work anymore and today i saw actually why it doesn't work anymore because we don't this is um it doesn't work on power pc basically this is power pc 6432 specific but the craziest thing is regular power pc is also broken like 32 bit power pc so we have a long list i'm at a constant i think for the rest of my life i probably as a running gig i keep my to do file at precisely 666 lines of to do because it is basically i'm finding new stuff faster than i can fix it so kxec apparently is in general somehow broken um, and on this specifically because uh, we are missing the 64-bit libc variant in the um, installer in it but we should actually check so what else did we uh, oops we had we, theoretically we should also default xf86 video um ps3 to no ethel for now and i wonder if i actually uh, is this still building Apparently it's still building. I mean, obviously, I'm, I need an IDE, right? It's like people always, but you're not using an IDE. Hey, I am emerging an IDE, aka Emacs, on my 
$10,000 P3 dev kit. So, um, GitHub, my P3 fork here. Um, no, not more activity. I want repositories. Oh, here it was there. Of course, it's so popular. But the, do you know that you can support my work as simply as going to GitHub and subscribing there to my sponsorship stuff? Like, like literally, literally there. Uh, right. um, because the dev kit, so it's not as relevant for you playing along at home because most of you have a hardware cursor supporting um, to uh, consumer. So by the way, I need, I did this copyright thing here wrong. I need to obviously put this over NVIDIA, right? Because our copyright is newer than the old. And <laughs> is that not the irony? Like forking Novo or forking NV of, of course, a Sony P3 driver has some NVIDIA copyright in there. But it's their open source code, right? I, I didn't steal any of their precious stuff. And do we have somewhere in it? Do we have, do we detect whether it's supported? Because, uh, did, 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 did I create cursor in it? Apparently not here. That's, um, maybe I need to add another to do of actually detecting because on, if you are running in too old firmware, like this dev kit, then you don't have hardware cursor. If you're wondering what the hardware cursor means, like we are using in RAM deck um, on chip hardware cursor, so we don't need to blitz this in software. Like obviously, if we do this in software, we lose more performance and it flickers constantly. It's like it's a small thing, but it's for me, it's a super tiny, flicker free, and significantly. It it sounds trivial, but like if you have. A real game and video running it, it costs you quite some percent of performance of just constantly redrawing cursor shit on, on top of your video. Um, do we need to click there or there? Proof of concept hardware cursor. Did we do any initialize hardware cursor, hardware cursor, in it, hardware cursor? Okay, I have this here in some. Okay, maybe we actually, why do I not have. We probably want to restore this hardware cursor thing there. To have a, maybe I didn't have an option. Maybe I didn't copy the from the. I, I probably need to copy the XF86 uh, option. Registering that uh, I probably just didn't have it there. So we have. But that's funny. I didn't quite properly write this code here. So we have some NV cursor in it. But do we even check whether I think this looks quite incomplete? Okay, we have the cursor in VRAM. Um, where do we even set the address? We had I added some IOCTL. Ah, yes, yeah, so here's the show. Show height cursor here is it? Um, yeah, we also want to comment out this tracing stuff. Like basically, it works now. We can get rid of like we basically also need to clean this up. I just quickly stuffed this together four years ago and never looked back in there. And that's what we finally finally start to ship it right. Um, uh, Emacs is still building because what I wanted to do, but what I wanted to do is we basically oh, do I have this tail? Don't need this tail running, or do I have this somewhere else? Okay, we can actually. Uh, you know what? Let's let's run the tail there. We have a multitasking Unix system, like we know it, there running on our P3, so certainly can make use of that. Um, let's just for the test of it, and I probably should check uh, all the comments here. Let's quickly check the comments. All right, I probably should add to the to-do or instantly do it. Like basically, let config old config clear LTO and 
of two. That's basically the question. Um, answer the, maybe answer that today, uh, right now in the comments. The, the reasoning behind that is right, like on, and that, that's quite, on one hand, we have the high performance people who want high performance. They would want to LTO and um, LTO and smartest optimization. And then we have the, the newcomers, the, the newbies, uh, the dummies, the, the Joe uh, users who install it on the P3 and then complain like, why is it so slow, right? I mean, beside complain to Sony, that's not faster, <laughs> and IBM, but I mean, maybe, you know what, maybe even on high performance, because the question is, maybe we need to make a poll or maybe we need a feedback form. Do we need at the end of the installation a feedback form questionnaire of what are you actually using T2 for? Um, or do we need telemetry of actually sending a hardware dump like at the beginning of the installation, hey, do you want to support, T do you want to improve T2 development by sending your analytics footprint of PS3, SGO2, so that I actually know like data and, and I and other core developers actually know what you want to use T2 for. Because I don't know, like, I only see, like, downloads double and triple and our user base grows faster than throws social. Uh, maybe we are soon more valuable, even if we are already more profitable, and maybe we are soon more valuable. Um, but maybe even on the high performance front, if you don't build with LTO and smartest optimization, you will probably not notice, maybe you even enjoy the faster build time, like then you wonder, hey, why is my epic Ryzen thread ripper, thread ripping so fast? Um, why does my Intel system feel like AMD building so fast? Um, hey, even Emacs, like, is that not, if, if that is not like people, why is this shit so slow? Like, like hey, it's a 15 year old, like soon 20 year old system and it's like it's running a whole freaking latest and greatest T2 Linux and it built I it built Emacs so fast that I couldn't even summarize my today's after work party. It's like, yeah. Um, by the way, fun fact, we need to fix e Emacs for Itanium. Um, coming up next, um, stacking an Itanium on top of the P3 dev kit. Um, I hope they will become good friends here in the increasingly um, outstanding Exaco data center. So let's take, actually, I wanted to take a look at the comments. So maybe, yeah, leave, leave me in the comments below. Maybe you left already some comments. Should we disable LTO um, and smartest optimization by default? I'm building the highest optimized image for you and then, like, because, like, if you emerge KD in GNOME, like, you will not even notice, right? Like, you will only notice, hey, it builds twice as fast or three times as fast, right? So, um, Welcome, Ron. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Hello. Ni hao. Usual madness. Uh, argue SPE L1 L2 cache puts ahead of comparison from the time. Also, the iPhone was released a year later. So, without Rambus. Uh, like, like, do you see how? fast this installs like and I have even more like if you would share like and subscribe like if we would have already 100,000 subscribers I could even make I two years ago so previous video I made already storage proof of concept some 13% faster by multi queue by multi queuing the request like it's just more work like proof of concept at work I just can't it's just not stable the I, it's just not polished enough right like imagine if you would share like subscribe more like like this would be even faster um, but hey, I, I work between my lunch break and after work party, so like, you, you, you get what you pay for, which, yeah. You, you get what you subscribe for, which we need more subscribers. Uh, T2 supports all questions there, what init systems does T2 use? We default, like our general ISOs default has this 5 init, because we don't love systemd. Um, 
but we have system D and others. Like you can optionally install other stuff if you so so uh, prefer. But yeah, we also have mean it. We have run it. We have who knows what crazy. We have all crazy stuff. Trap exit says should just work on your micro kernel. Yeah, micro. Yeah, I should. Um, but the thing is also I worked so much and obviously our ISOs, our operating system installation images need to work. Um, it makes no sense to put 25 years of work in it and at the end of the day the, the ISO still sucks. So this is why the last weeks I took out all systems I could find around me, booted T2 and fixed nearly every issue I found, which were too many. So that now when we finally announced that I delayed enough, I fixed enough and now it's time to party basically, right? And not sure if I write the microkernel next, but definitely we finally have the last Linux distribution you will ever need and the last Linux distribution to actually work on MIPS and PowerPC and 686 stuff. Um, question there, every stream, ambulance, a fire brigade, the background. Yes, there, it's around the corner. I just answered this yesterday. And um, it's of course now more audible. It's freaking globally climate crisis hot. Um, the, the first days of spring and we have record breaking 28 freaking degrees here in the office. I'm already sweating. So um, in the winter, it's less audible because I have the windows closed, but like with 28 freaking degrees in the office, I obviously uh, need to have some more airflow. And my P3 yellowed just in time for some progress. Sorry to hear that. Telemetry would be more accurate. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm of course joking. I'm aware that people hate telemetry, right? So. Oh, this is also that. So, does it work? Emacs. Um, I mean, just for it's like here, yeah, an, an IDE on a proper IDE on. It's like, hey, you can even freaking develop like is that, right? Um, why does this not syntax color, or does Emacs not? Yeah, so. Which term? I reset the term for testing reasons. I oh, know I didn't. Why does that not do syntax highlighting? How should newcomers? I mean, maybe, okay, maybe it doesn't register as. Um, ah, maybe that, maybe that is why some files had a shebang at the, end, uh, at the beginning of the file. Anyway, build a package here, maybe. Hey, that highlights. Yay, okay. Fine, amazing. Is that not? Um, yeah, I guess I will disable that just so that because I can't hear it anymore that people complain um, it is too slow and like we will not magically make GCC faster and stuff, right? So it's like, yeah, is that not? If that is not a beauty, then I don't. Oh, this is actually interesting. That looks like this. Anyway, what more do we have there? Support the Joe if you want optimization on build, otherwise offer feedback, loop subscription. Someone votes for our oh, darn. My, f my display flickers. I hope the AMD GPU is not crashing on the Steam Deck. That would be because obviously I live stream from a T2 installed Steam Deck, right? Like professionals do. Baby Ray wants it rather fast with no breaks here, but the thing is, um, I mean, it's still fast. You probably will not notice it. Um, fire truck wish it would be 28, uh, 28 degree, like real units, like not, not freedom units, right? Like 28 Celsius or centigrade, however you want to call it. I mean, I love mild weather, like give me freaking, I have the fair. The summer is not, will not be fun with so many high performance systems running in the office. Um, Firetruck says telemetry is okay as long as uh, users can opt out. 
Yeah, the thing is, I understand it's too annoying. I mean, it's even I, I mean, if even I switch it off, it's probably too slow. Um, we, by the way, can just test you some stuff for kicks and giggles. By the way, how long did Emacs build now? Was it 23-ish minutes? Actually, we can check this. Uh, 22 minutes and 22 seconds and Slua is yeah three something versus one something so yeah it's more than twice as fast i guess you want twice as fast and the problem is i mean it's similar to other companies like microsoft and apple and stuff right if all your hotline is like hey i'm calling because why is the shit too slow it's like i mean obviously you make the right the same business decision is make it at least the illusion of fast. I mean, basically, I mean, Joe users also don't care if they get there. I mean, you probably don't even notice whether that is um, LTO'd, LTO'd or not. I mean, it's only in some inner multimedia loop stuff, right? I just wonder, does it have... Um, I wonder if that has, uh, this has analog outs. Do, are they amplified? Ma but maybe they are not amplified. Because this has analog outputs. I mean, basically, I never used this $10,000 system yet, right? Um, I probably should plug in my headphone and make some good use of this analog qualities of. Um, anyway, so we don't have an oops. Um, I guess that's good. We, there was at least one. So the Linux kernel people change also some frame buffer stuff. I probably should check. Hey, wow, we even get here over six. I mean, that's more than you get. I just today booted a dual circuit Xeon. That, that's more than you got on a dual circuit Xeon into Xeon. Some. Um, take it a go, right? Here is a new warning also. Here's a new message. Um, by the way, I also, like, I put so much work in here, right? By default, the bloody Linux kernel would even oops on um, JIT, right? On BPF JIT. So, I mean, obviously, T2 Linux is li the last Linux distribution to support IBM, Sony, Toshiba, Cell, and not even oops by doing so, right? And don't corrupt your storage data. Here was some bloody frame buffer. There was some strange here. I wonder what that warning is. Framework is not in virtual address space. That is somehow, I think I probably should put this on my to-do. And if you sponsor this enough, I probably should research what that is about. I think it's new and not that like, I should probably research that sooner than later because if, if we don't research that, then chances are the upstream Linux people will change something sometime soon and then it will not boot anymore. And when stuff doesn't boot anymore, it's always the most annoying to actually uh, find then out after the fact what even broke now. Um, yeah, so I guess we filter that out. Long to sub version up. By the way, so that is also the only PlayStation that I'm aware of. This this normal PlayStations that you playing along at home have SATA, right? Ser serial attached. SCAR, uh, serial attached um, ATA. Serial attached ATA. Uh, whatever. Um, this has parallel ATA, right? Um, PATA. But of course, we don't see this in Linux. That is obstructed by the hypervisor because the uh, low-level drivers live in the hypervisor address space. Um, P3, Xun writes, P3 even running Linux 6.8 is a bit of a miracle. It's not a miracle, it's just because of me, right? It's, it's so simple. Upstream, it's entirely broken. It's not a miracle, it's, it's me. But you're welcome. And you definitely want a Patreon that, because otherwise my wife will sooner or later say, why do I spend so much time? and have no money to show for that. Um, so, but the Linux kernel NT2 runs on much, much slower hardware, right? Not even, not only a 80 megahertz FPGA, but even 
200, 400 megahertz SGI octane and O2 stuff, right? Or even an Apple G4 cube. Did I mention we take testing our Linux distribution seriously? So I guess that's mostly it. Um, I did some small things which I need to sort later. Are we still building something? Oh, Firefox also fails for what? No, what? You, you've got to be kidding me. Why does like it built like it built like last month? Why does it fail now for? Power PC 64 LE, what's what's that now? This is you had like one job. I want a release. I want a party. Like why is why is this not simply freaking working? Like how did that break again? But modern stuff being modern stuff, um so we wouldn't even find well, this will soon be in hard error. It's like, yeah, 2024 and build systems, like the 24 freaking build systems, um, are so amazing that you don't even see the freaking error. Ah, oh, you know what we did? We, ah, here is some, ah, this is the shit. Ah. How do I deserve that? Ah. Yeah, that is power eight assembly optimizations so. of. Yep, the only constant is change and uh, regressions. And the only uh, miracle is me keeping this shit maintained. Okay, let's do this later. Um, let's uh, touch that and. Did I zoom that? Probably not. Um, so then let's build all x86-64 or so, and what else do we, I mean, we have all to build, but, ah, it's fine, okay, fine, let's, let's do that one here. So, um, other small changes, Did, do I, by the way, build anything? Probably not, um, all right, I wanted to test. I also actually urgently need to add to my to-do because otherwise I forget it. Um, no ASO and hardware cursor detection and hardware cursor uh, config option. Did I actually paste the link to my Patreon? Probably should be this one. And of course, if you want to see more live behind the scenes stuff, we also are on Twitch. So that stuff is building. We have more. Yeah, the only the only constant is, is more bugs to fix. What do we have here? Perl is not installed. Image magic. Window maker wants in, in, in image magic. Is that a real dependency? That will build a while. And Perl will build a while too. But maybe we must better install it. Even that is like if you recurring subscribers will know like. Just four years ago, how much more low level and bare bones T2 looks right? like. All of this stuff is new, right? Optional dependency selection, build time estimation, and the stuff actually working on real hardware. Uh, so Perl, Perl, Python, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, that, that will build a while. Probably should have started that 10 minutes ago, but that's what it is. Does it make sense here? I guess it makes quite some sense. Oh, just two hours 45. I mean, realistically, of course, T2 is an expert system, just like Gen 2 or Arch Linux. 
but in my opinion, I, because people always ask, and it's like, yeah, I mean, two and a half hours, I mean, this is quite some stuff, right? Normally you would not need Perl and Python and stuff and whatever, but, and that probably also answers, yes, we want to default to no LTO and not as much optimization. Also, what is the default optimization? We probably should default to smart. I guess smart is probably sometimes a little bit faster than... Or we should even default to smartly. That is even... What did I even... You know what? I think I changed this to smartly. That is even a little bit less, I believe, for C++, for example, just speeding this up. Anyway, um, Mary writes, we'll give you commercial support by the end of the next month just to reduce your plea. Might have to start getting a second job though. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, all the open source, like the, the only people supporting open source developers are other open source developers. It forces me to make a Patreon account to see the Discord link. Yes, um, like a dollar of, a dollar token of appreciation. Appreciation would really appreciate it um, because I can't work all day and night for free. So, um, that's basically it. We tested some stuff. Um, we have some more to-dos. I did even more small things I wanted to say. Um, what do we have here? So I... All right. Um, still need to sort some stuff. Maybe I do this f at home from the couch. Here, for example, a super small thing. Um, I think I tested that here. And I th I think I also commit this now, um, packages. So it triggered me the other day that we, we use ISO date, like usually except here, like it just triggers, sorry, you're Americans, um, you know, we, we, we feel for my sanity, because like it even confused me yesterday. It's like, dude, why do we even use this? At other places you already use ISO dates. It is what it is. Um, small change, A small, step for the Americans, uh, a big step for, a big relief for every same other, other same person. Um, finally store isodates in bar am packages. Um, Yeah. But there are some other small things, as you see, right? So we have here basically, I probably should do that here because that is actually, okay, let's commit this together. It's just a small, it even fix the theme some, uh, fits the theme somewhat patch. Reverse. So I reverted half of the two, just commit stuff atomically that belong somewhat together. And um, this is just new line avoidance of that is okay long. This is like from good old fashioned decades ago when we wanted 80 characters. Um, so fixed. Um, not, um, to disable configure or a what do we call this? Our super configure run. Actually, the other day I checked that is a regression. I had that actually. Uh, decades ago, someone changed that and that was Michael Tross. Sorry, Michael. By the way, where are you? We need you. Why did you, why did you 
wander away in real life and uh, that was actually configure uh, I actually as we unblamed that the other day uh, there is some okay let's SVN blame head autogen uh, I think it was something of that here, 23,000 whatever. Yeah, so until there we did that and I'm not, not really sure why he has done it, but it breaks some stuff and I mean it wakes even it wastes even CPU cycles and CPU cycles are holy and precious. Um, very long running regression but sometimes you just realize it much much later so fix generic autogen to disable superfluous double configure because it's double yeah, duplicated yeah. I guess you get the idea yeah there is still some more things to sort like 32 changes but we're getting there. Stuff otherwise builds. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. We take testing seriously. Um, it has been a long way. All right, actually, I wanted to. I wanted to test one more thing. I probably will not let it run overnight. The system is too expensive to break and overheat overnight. Actually, how loud is this? Actually, it's louder than a. It's somewhat. I mean, it's a 19-inch rackable. Did, did you understand that it's a 19 inch like super sized fat like a rackable p3 um let's check if that has a chance to work here but this also means because kxec is as i mentioned broken on generic power pc because that's what linux kernel developers do they, they every month even every day break something for changes and cleanups and optimizations but that means I tested basically with the P3 that in general, like because the Petit Boot is older, like the Petit Boot is a decade old, and that means KXEC works in general, even on P3, just like it's the new KXEC that is broken. So the old KXEC works even with the new kernel. So at least we probably only have mostly KXEC user space tools to debug if we choose to do so sometime soon. So that's that and net OD that. Yeah. So this user space. So the crazy thing is unexpected instruction for RPC 6040. Hey, this is so stupid. The craziest thing is this. The decade old petite boot can boot exactly that kernel. Like literally that kernel I booted like three times today already. Um, it's like, <sighs> it is what it is. It, it's broken. Um, and not like, like obviously it, it will not work on latest and greatest IBM stuff like, but that's what we have a test suit for. And that is why now we can run actually Loading shot. Ah, do we have a? That's an interesting thing. Do we have even an LD config test? Hmm. That's not ideal. But I mean, it's. I know why it happens. It's just not. Yeah. It's an. Yeah, even even test suit it's like you run the test suit and you immediately so KXEC will not work. So and that is that is amazing thing, right? Not only like this is how we test our Linux, and yes, it's just the beginning. But hey, I run this part time. Um, at least all the other stuff works, and this object dump is not critical. And this KXEC will fail, unfortunately. But the crazy stuff is it fails the same in QEMU emulated user space as it does on PS3 because we probably will even get that 
nicely printed out, I believe. Are we still already? That reminds me, did I have... Ah, did I commit this apparently already? Okay. This test takes crazy long. It would literally be faster um, it would literally be faster. What is going on here? Why is this so strange? Okay, that is actually... Ah, this is why the test... Um, okay, that is... So that is exactly the problem that happens also in real life when you install. Like that's why we test you things, right? Like it literally saves you the hassle of getting a real system and booting it there. Um, yeah, that is just because we don't have the 64-bit libc there. Um, but if it would work, it would fail like that, which is not much better. So yeah, donations welcome, Patreon, YouTube, super thanks and uh, GitHub sponsorship, whatever you prefer the most. And otherwise, maybe we need like Red Hat Go paper download Linux distribution because it clearly is the best. In it's like everyone I show this and my friends agree, it's the best Linux distribution. So um, why would you not pay as much as you do for Red Hat? So, that's it for this video. I hope you just learned something. You got a PS4, no PS3. Better research, yes, to better to better everything exactly. Isodates are the way to go. Happy you agree. Constantly fighting with Americans on, the, on Discord about refusing to use real data. I mean, I don't care what you use, but it's not an excuse that our internal dates are stored in a readable and sane manner. Um, most of the other comments I've read. You can also do donate by um, PayPal. Just go to our download page and don't delay donate there today. We, we have everything and too few people use it. And I mean, of course, I already some years ago moved the donate button, like maybe later, just take me to the downloads because like even like that, the the zero point zero 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 one percent uses buttons before they click on maybe later just take me to the downloads. But that's it for t today. Um, I need to go. Um, enjoy family time and eat. And I hope you enjoy the upcoming release because it is amazing just in time for our second channel 25,000 subscriber um, celebration, right? And if you didn't know we have a second channel, you can even subscribe there for free too. So that we can party tomorrow. Have a good day or night. Have fun playing with the stuff at long at home. I hope you enjoyed to learn something and to see you soon for the next release celebrations to come.